today we have a diagnostic machine for cars that has been sent in by Think Car, and it is the 689BT uh, forward. This video is going to help with the uh, other project that we're working on, getting that printed in aluminium, hence we're doing this video, but Think Car were nice enough to give us this so we can make money so we can do the other project. But anyway, right, let's get into this. Normally, I don't do an unboxing video, but I thought this one was kind of slightly important. I don't know what the reason is, but there's a message on the top of the box that if your box is open uh, before you get it, uh, send it back. And there's a one of those uh, void stickers that shows it when it's been opened. So if your box has been opened before you get it, send it back, because I don't know what the reason is, but it says it can't be resold once it's been opened. Although, in using, I haven't registered the unit anywhere, but I don't know. If you get one that's got an open box, send it back and get a fresh one. Right, you get a box in a box, a carry case, which contains your diagnostic machine, which is this. And uh, this is being the BT, which is the Bluetooth version, has a Bluetooth dongle that connects, that's the bit that connects into the car via the OBD2 port. That goes in the car and then this connects wirelessly to it and that magnetises to the back of that, which is, I don't know, it's nice but I've got one of the other ones where the Bluetooth dongle is on the inside. I don't know. Shape, size wise, I mean they're about the same thickness but I kind of like the dongle being on the inside. But magnetise the back, both good. Also, it gives you a warrer, warner, warrer, a warning and a, not an error, but an audible tone to let you remember to take this out of the car when you disconnect from the vehicle, so you don't leave it behind and you very much, well, you have to buy another one. Uh, okay, so, the first thing that I wanted to talk about, because I feel it's almost as important as the machine itself, is updates. So this Think Car one comes with three uh, lifetime unlimited updates, basically obviously every month, every week there's a new update or something for a vehicle or things and you'll get free updates forever with this Think Car one. Now, I have another brand, I'm not going to mention other brands in this video, but I have another brand of diagnostic machine. This one you get three years worth of free updates and bamboozling to me is it's cheaper to buy a new machine every three years than it is to keep buying updates afterwards. If someone would like to explain the maths, like the cost of three years of updates is more expensive than buying another new machine with three years of updates. That is the most wasteful thing I can think of. You're literally just putting that in the bin at the end of three years and buying a new one. The Think Car, as I say, free updates for life, so as long as you keep the machine, you're getting updates, and as long as Think Car stays in business. And this other one that I've got, again, I'm not going to name the brand, but it's also got free updates, but the memory in this machine is now at the point where it's too small, and you can't get all the updates in, and the interface is horrible for choosing the updates. Like, what I wanted to do was just, like, go through and choose the updates. I want to press update then, but you can't. You can either update all, or you can update one at a time, and you have to go through manually. But I digress, right. So you've got your diagnostic machine, you've got your uh, dongle on the back. There's also adapters for, what is it, FD? I don't know, is that a BMW or a something that's got an ethernet port on the back of it? And there's an ethernet cable in there, and that's the charging cable, but what's, there's another USB to ethernet thing in there. I don't know, I've never worked in a car that's required any sort of connection to Ethernet to get it to do things, so... That is out with the scope of this video, that is purely a diagnostics kind of job, and that's not my job. Right. Let me peel off this outer cover so we can actually see the screen. Now I'm going to put this box over there and to cover up our diagnostic machines. And I feel like you should be closer, or I should be closer. But let's, oh, it's got a nice um, stand so you can desktop it. Not sure it's quite nice as the ones that hang on the steering wheel, but hey, it's it's small. You've, you've got to forgive it. There, right. big on-off button, or on-off button at the top. That USB 
plug for the Ethernet thing and the USB-C to charge it and that's all there is for ports on hopefully I charged it I'm sure I charged it, I'm fairly sure I charged it we will at some point go out to a vehicle and plug it in to show you doing things but again I've only got like two cars to plug in so I can't show you all of the things that it's supposed to do they're all very vehicle specific but here's your main page with the large monkey on it I, I don't know why I'm gonna put on the screen all of the like things it can do because that's your maintenance bit where you reset airbags and ABS bleeding and all the other DPF regeneration all that kind of stuff that's all in there in the maintenance bit Upgrade is updating the app and whatnot for, you know, updates for actually doing the updates for I don't know if everything's got, has it done a check? Is it doing it just now? I think everything's on the latest version of everything. Oh no, this. we've got software to update there, so if we press, where's update? You just upgrade? Go. And it'll go and get all the latest software for free! And it'll download that. This has got in it like every brand of car that I've heard of and quite a lot that I have never heard of I presume are Chinese brands and hey, maybe one day we'll get them in the UK Right, anyway, what, I'm not, I don't know why my internet's so slow at the moment but hey, that's, that's what it is uh, oh, oh, I've, oh, I've missed something there or something popped up on screen and I don't know what it was if I hit back, will it tell me again? No, Alright, it's just tell me. There's some sort of update for something. Okay. Oh, it's having a software update. The app itself is now updating. Okay. As I say, this will happen a lot if you don't use it very often. Every time you take it out to use it, you find out there's a whole host of updates for everything, for all of the software in the actual system itself. Like this one has added Nissan Gateway Unlocking, smashing, and support for Canadian time zones. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Right, okay, so the app restarted because it updated, obviously. Um, ah, that was a showing you. There's my, the more sex. No, 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 oh, 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 it's not finished updating. Jeez. More. It's got like, it's not a, a gadgets bit where you, there's like, you can buy, no, that one, there's up, but you can buy add ons. Is it a module? Yeah, so think car sell a module for programming the TPMS uh, and a certain an oscilloscope, a boroscope type thing, a printer and a battery tester, and they all connect to this via it's either USB USB or the Bluetooth. And then this can be, you know, the screen for your video scope or your oscilloscope, which I think it might that might actually might be quite useful, especially the oscilloscope. Because as they say. If you ain't scoping, you're hoping. Right, yeah, that's that's all the... I mean, I can't show you all the diagnostics, but that's kind of it. It saves all your car data, your VINs and all that, so you can go back and generate diagnostic reports and email them and what and all like that. Right, I'm going to set that down there. I'm now going to put on screen all of the maintenance things that it goes through. I'm going to steal the images straight off their website. Like, for example, the 34 reset services, all system diagnostics, CAN, FD, and DOIB. I've got no idea what any of that is. Auto auth for FCA, SGW, is that not like Reynolds and things? Uh, 150 plus brand coverage, yep. Like free lifetime updates, air fuel ratios, add blue, battery matching, suspension, yeah, all the EGRs. DPFs, all that stuff. And as it says, it doesn't work on all cars because not all cars let you do it via the diagnostics and you need special hardware and software to do the thing. I'm going to say the main thing about this is the fact it connects to everything and it's free updates forever. So as long as you own this device, you'll get the free updates to, you know, for all the cars if you buy a newer car. If you buy a new car and you keep the same diagnostic machine, because as I said, that other one, it's now, it's not a paperweight, but it's fine as long as you never plan on using it on anything newer than the last update. Because it's cheaper just to buy a new machine and have three years updates as it is to have 
I know updates. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just bamboozles me that MD thought that was a good idea. I don't know why you want to sell more hardware that, like, sell the updates are cheap. No, no. Anyway, right, we're going to go outside now, plug this in my car, and look at diagnostic data and show you how easy it is to use, because if I can do it, you can do it. Right, we are in the car. Stage one. Unmagnetize your Bluetooth dongle and find your OBD2 slot. There's mine. Which which way is the bottom? I'm feeling for the the cutout, not the cutout, the knobby bit. There's like there's a bump on your OBD socket that matches the tab. And there's mine goes in that way. No. That way, yeah, bump at the bottom. And that plugs in. Plugs in. To honest. Hey, it beeps. It's got a little blue light indicating that it's doing something. Right. Let's see There's, if I can do this without a tripod. <sighs> right. Let's, well, first of all, oh, and this is a pushy button start stop, so without your feet on the pedals. Press the button until you get to just the first position on your ignition and let's fire up the diagnostics. And let's go to diagnose. Let's begin. Should connect to the Bluetooth, the thing, the dongle. Nice. I haven't used this in this car yet. It would be nice if there was some sort of display, you know. Oh, no, 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 there it is. Shh. It is a Suzuki, not a Fiat. No, there we go. We've got a VIN number, a make, some beeps. It's now doing things. Anyway, I was, I was going to say it would be nice if there was a progress bar, but there is not. Alright, let's do an automatic search. Do you really, whether you want to read VIN automatically? Yes, please. I mean, this is basically the same for every single diagnostic machine. Go on then, do a health report. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I, the other, one of the other uh, diagnostic machines, it's got a nicer display for it going through the modules and it shows you it going through each system and then the inside of that system and whatnot, whereas this just shows you it as, you know, a grown not a display, a graph, a display. I'm glad there's no faults. There better not be. One air conditioning fault. I mean, the air conditioning works. So what is the fault? Is the fault the engine's not on? I wonder if this makes a nice, a nice report that you can view. Right. Sunset. Sun load sensor and or it's circuit malfunction. Uh, sun load sensor. Well oh, that's kinda and I need that. That's no oh, that really just repair suggestions. Spelt suggestions wrong, but if anybody's watching this suggestions. Great. Okay. Sun load sensor. I presume the sun load sensor is the one that is in the windscreen a bit. Up in that bit. There must be a... I presume it's in there somewhere. Ah, oh, I might take that plastic thing off and wiggle some wires later. But anyway, that's... One thing it found, which is... Not really into the world, because the air conditioning still works. Okay. Right. So if we go back out... I don't need to clear them. That's fine. Eh... Uh, we know a system selection so we can go through and I want to see if there's anything we can actually test 
Like, where's the body control? Yes, thanks. Actuation test. Like, is there anything we can turn on and off? All right, okay, yeah. Okay. Door, auto headlight on. Rear wiper. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Test status, on. Hey, make the rear wiper go. Off. Rear wipers off. Hey, it works. So, two way control absolutely works. Glove box light. Hmm. Glove box light is currently on, as we can see by the dull glow. I turn it off. Hey, 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 hey. Turn it on. Wow, science. So much uselessness. Why would you need that? Anyway, but yeah, it lets you activate the activations. I mean, there's probably more useful things. Maybe in the engine one. Where's the engine? Oh wait, is the air conditioning one out here? So if we go into air conditioning, this is with auto stop and start. And others, I suppose. Is there anything we can turn off in here? No, we just read the data stream. Oh, go on, read the sunload then. Well, it's got a value, so I kind of need to take it outside. Wait, is there a metric equivalent of? No. We'll need to I'll take it outside for diagnostics, but the machine is doing what the machine does, and it has connected, and is doing the thing. And as I say, it's the free updates forever that's probably the most important. Now, do not forget to take the thing out. Yeah. Nope, it's not a Mazda, it's on the other side. Start stop. And done off. Right, smashing. Okay, so the diagnostic machine totally diagnoses. As I say, don't forget to take your dongle with you when you are leaving the car. Otherwise, your hardware will disappear with you. Eh. Oh, that's got a good grip. And then you mag ties on the back. So the only thing I've noticed I don't like is when, you know, obviously you can't lie it down in the thin thing. It doesn't want to, it doesn't lie flat and I sure do not want to lie it on the screen on anything other than a seat because you, know, you don't want to be lying that on the ground. But it's a bit weebly wobbly. And the other one that goes inside is a bit better. Oh, I want to see if that, does this, does this like, does this like hang on the steering wheel? Because I've seen some of the other ones that you can... Hey, hey, it kind of does. You can sort of almost hang that on the steering wheel. Oh, hang that on the steering wheel. Nearly. Nearly. I mean, it kind of works. It's not, it's not great. Is it there? No. It does hook over. Just. You could do it hands-free. So if you wanted to sit there and do things on there and have some other diagnostics going, but yeah. Or just sit it down like that. Right, that is in-car diagnostics done. It does the thing, it, it does the diagnostics and the resetting of things. The most important thing about this is probably the lifetime free updates. I've got, a, got and had other machines that run out after three years. And as I say, it was cheaper to buy a new machine than it is to pay for another three years updates, which is still madness to me. So, any comments, questions, Accept questions on diagnostics on vehicles like I've only, I've only got mine in my fiance's car There's, I don't have access to every vehicle on the planet So don't ask me questions about Will this work on a 1998 Ford Mondeo? Probably will, but I, I, I don't ask me specific questions Anyway, as I say, comments, questions and all that Leave them down below and I'll try my best to answer them And as always, thanks for watching!